Hey guys, what is up? This is Jelos Creatives and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, I'm gonna teach you how to create this amazing and lovely photo manipulation of tools once. So without further ado, let's get started. So these are the dimensions that I used in creating this photo manipulation. So a width of 1280, a height of 900, and a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. And of course, these are the images that we're gonna be using. So the two swans, the grass for the background, the grass for the bokeh effect, the sky, the water, and the ripple image. So this is going to be our subject here, the two swans, and as you can see, the light source is from the left side, and I really wanted it to put on the right side, so just press Ctrl T, right click, and flip horizontal, and then just click the move tool. And now it's time to extract the parts for our background. So first here is we have a grass, and I'm gonna be needing some of its reflection also. So let's just unlock this layer first, and the technique that we're gonna be using here is from one of my tutorial from which we're gonna turn this uh, image that we're gonna be using to black and those that we're not gonna be using into white. So let's just go over to adjustment layer icon, let's choose black and white, and since we have some uh, yellows and greens in our image, we're just uh, gonna be dragging this slider here to the left side and also the green one to the left side. And we don't need this part here and it is composed of blue or some cyan's, so we just need to drag the slider to the right side. And now based off from this uh, image here, we can create our selection. So let's choose our layer first. Let's go to select. Let's choose color range. And from the select menu, let's, draw, uh, let's choose shadows. You can also increase the fuzziness to about, uh, let's say 50%. And then just stay 65% for our range. And then just press OK. And it's going to create a selection around this black image. And now just press Ctrl J to duplicate the selection. Right click here and choose convert to smart object. And now we can drag this image and use it as our background. And then just drag it below our swan layer. Press Ctrl T to adjust the size. And then just drag these points over here just like this. So now we have our background and some of its reflection. And now we're gonna be uh, adding some grass over here. So we can close this one here. So, And we're gonna be using this uh, subject here which is the grass. So we're just gonna do the same thing. Let's unlock this layer. Let's choose uh, black and white from the adjustment layer icon. Let's create a clipping mask. And since our subject here has some yellows in it so we need to make it darker by make uh, by dragging the slider to the left side and since we can't do any more uh, from this uh, adjustment layer let's uh, create another adjustment layer so let's choose uh, levels for this one let's create a clipping mask and we need our background to be white and our grass here to be black uh, we just need to drag this slider over here and there you go and maybe some of the black just drag the slider to the right side and whenever you're satisfied just go over and click your image layer then go to select and choose color range so the same thing choose shadows and you can also adjust the fuzziness and also the range here and then just press ok and press ctrl j to duplicate the selection right click and convert to smart object and we just simply drag this one to our canvas and then put it above our uh, swan image since we're gonna be using this as a bokeh effect for the photo manipulation and then just press ctrl t and let's make this one smaller and i think i'm just gonna put this one over here so now we can close this image and the next thing we're gonna add is of course our sky so i'm just gonna use a rectangular marquee tool here and I'm just gonna create a selection over here and then just press Ctrl J to duplicate the selection right click and convert this one to a smart object and now we can use this part here as our sky for the background and let's put this one below our grass layer and to not get confused so let's just rename all these layers here so of course this one is going to be the sky 
and this one is going to be the front grass this one here is the swan and this one here is the uh, grass background and the next thing we're gonna add is of course the uh, the water so now we can close this one also and let's go to our water image and same thing we're gonna use a marquee tool and let's create a selection around uh, somewhere over here then let's press ctrl j to duplicate the selection right click and convert to smart object and then we're just gonna drag this one over here and drag it below the grass background and let's rename this one to water so now we are done mapping out all our images that is going to be used in our photo manipulation so now it's time to refine some of the edges and make the subject and the background blend more okay so first let's select our grass background and then let's create a layer mask let's choose a brush tool and with a black foreground maybe a flow of about 20 percent let's just uh, erase these parts over here just like this and there you go and we're also going to erase some part here to mimic those uh, effect that this part here is uh, farther from this uh, grass image and now let's go over to our swan layer let's create a clipping mask and with the brush tool again and i'm gonna increase this one to 100 percent let's remove some of these uh, messy edges and those sharp edges we don't want those also and i'm just gonna try to straighten this up just by deleting those parts so what we're doing here is we're trying to make our swan blend more to the water image so i think this looks good now and now we should uh, try to um, smudge those edges so that it creates a smoother transition from our subject to our background so let's right click here and rasterize layer now let's select this layer here for this one image then let's go to the toolbar and let's select smudge tool and then we're just gonna smudge these edges here so a strength of 20% of course just to make a smoother transition and there you go we are already done with smudging our uh, swan image okay so now I think I'm gonna fix this parts here of our grass since it has some holes in it and our sky can be seen so let's just press ctrl g to group this layer let's click over here let's create a new layer and let's put it uh, below our grass background and then let's choose a brush tool by pressing b hold the alt key in our keyboard and click here to sample this green color and we're gonna use it to paint uh, as our background for the grass background so as you can see we're just removing those holes just by painting uh, the this uh, layer behind our grass background and there you go we are already done so now I'm just gonna match the color of our grass background here to the color of the grass over here so I'm just gonna select this layer go to adjustment layer icon and let's choose a uh, color balance for this one let's create a clipping mask and I'm gonna drag the red somewhere over 95 I think 95 will do and also I'm gonna uh, add some magenta on it so I think 30 will do for this one so we can still adjust this uh, adjustment layer here if we are not satisfied with the final result okay so now let's click this uh, grass layer and we're gonna add some uh, blur effect to this one so let's go to filter blur and let's choose add a Gaussian blur so I think we're gonna add a pixel of 6 here just to add a bokeh effect on the photo manipulation and then just press OK okay now we have to group this layer here so that it's not uh, messy on our layers so the, just press ctrl G to group this layer here so there you go and I really wanted to 
make this part here darker so let's select this layer let's go to adjustment layer icon let's create a brightness layer let's create a clipping mask and i'm gonna drag the slider i think negative 70 will do and now let's go to the layer mask let's choose a brush tool and a black foreground and a flow of 100 percent and then i'm just gonna erase some of those uh darkness here since our light source is from this uh, side okay and there you go and now we're going to create uh, the reflection of our swan image so to do this let's create a new document so let's go to file and select new so the width here is i'm just gonna stay to 1280 and I'm gonna increase this one to 2300 and then just create a new document the key here is just we're going to create our rectangular size document like this one and now let's unlock this layer let's go to the toolbar and let's select the paint bucket tool let's select a black foreground and just paint it black and now let's go to filter let's go to noise and add noise so we're gonna choose an amount of 400% uh, distribution of uniform and just check monochromatic and just press OK. And now let's go to filter again. Let's choose blur and let's choose a uh, Gaussian blur for this one. And I'm gonna say I think uh, 5 pixels will do for this one and then just press OK. And now let's go over to the channels over here. So let's select the red one first. And then let's go to filter, let's select stylize and choose emboss. So over here we're gonna change the angle so we're gonna put this one to 180, height of 1 pixel and the amount of 100% and then just press ok. Then just uh, click this eye icon here to show the channel layers and then let's go to the green one, do the same thing, let's go to filter, uh, stylize and choose emboss. So on this angle, we're gonna need uh, 90 degrees for this one and then just press OK. Now we go over to this uh, layer here. So we need to convert this one to smart object first. So right click and convert to smart object and then press Ctrl T, right click and choose perspective. So we're just gonna drag the bottom part just like this. okay so this is the result so now right click here on the layer and choose flatten image and let's go to file save as and let's choose water reflection displacement map or just rename this one to water reflection displacement map and then just save it and then just press yes and now it's time to create the reflection for our swan image so let's select our swan image and also the adjustment layer now let's press Ctrl J to duplicate both of the layers. Right click and convert to smart object. And just drag this one below this one layer. Now press Ctrl T to adjust the size. Hold the shift key and drag one point of the image just like this. And now just click the move tool and let's drag this one over here. And let's press Ctrl T and choose warp and let's try to connect this part over here just like this. Okay, so now let's go to filter, choose blur, and add a motion blur. So 10 pixels will do for this one and just hit OK. And now we're gonna be adding our displacement map for our reflection. So just go to filter, select distort, and add displace. So these numbers here depends on the size of your displacement map. And then just press OK select your displacement map uh, file and then just open and there you go now you have a ripple effect on your reflection for your swan image okay so now it's time to use the ripple image so this is going to be the image we're going to be using and we're just going to drag this one over here Control t on this one and we're just going to make this one smaller just like this Okay, so now right click to this one and choose perspective and we're just gonna drag this one to match the perspective of our swan. Okay, I think this one will do. 
and let's change the blending mode from normal to luminosity and let's decrease the opacity to about 40 percent and let's create a layer mask for this uh, ripple effect here let's choose a brush tool and of course we need a black foreground and I'm just gonna lower the flow to about uh, 20% and then just simply remove those hard edges just like this I think we're going to increase the opacity a little bit so I think 60 will do and then we're just going to duplicate this one and put it on the other side of our swan image there you go and let's decrease this one to about 40 percent let's go to the layer mask and delete these parts over here and also on this part okay so now let's bring up our reflection so i'm just gonna rename this one to swan's reflection and i'm gonna put it above the ripple effect so there you go okay i think we're almost done with our photo manipulation so now let's add some blur to the background so let's select the grass layer let's go to filter let's go to blur and add a gaussian blur so i'm gonna go with uh, five pixels for this one and then just press ok now let's go to the sky layer over here let's go to filter blur add a gaussian blur and i'm gonna choose five pixels for this one and then just press ok and over here i'm just gonna make some uh, smooth shadow below our swan layer so let's go over here to the swan layer and let's select this one's reflection let's create a new layer and rename this one to shadow let's choose a brush and with a black foreground and a flow of about uh, four pixels we're just gonna smoothly paint some shadow below our swan Also, let's create a new layer here and do the same thing, some shadow, just like this. So I'm gonna change this one to 2 pixels. There you go. And we're also gonna be adding some shadow over here. So let's select our grass layer. Let's uh, go above to the group layer here. Let's create a new layer. And let's put it above this group let's choose a brush tool and i'm gonna increase this one to about five pixels and let's just paint some shadows over here just like this okay so now we're going to add some soft light over here so let's go to the uppermost layer let's create a new layer let's choose a brush tool again and let's choose a white foreground so i'm just gonna increase the flow to 100 percent and change the blending mode to soft light and then we're just gonna softly add some glow over here okay so this is the before and this is the after and you can also decrease the opacity if you want to and now to make the overall photo manipulation more interesting so let's add a camera row filter on this one so let's hold Control alt shift e to merge all the layers right click and convert this one to a smart object now let's go to filter and let's choose camera row filter so i already had created my own camera row filter for this one so i'm just gonna use it so i'm just gonna load the settings and choose one press it and then just press open so these are the settings that i changed here so i added a texture of 10 a clarity of 40 and on the detail i'm just gonna add this one uh 40 on the sharpening and noise reduction of 10 and in the color mixer i just decreased the blue to negative 50 and i think that's all the details that i changed here so you can also adjust all the settings here based on your preference and whenever you're satisfied just press ok and there you go now we are done with our photo manipulation for today so i hope you've learned something from this tutorial and if you do hit the like button subscribe to my youtube channel and click that bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a new content thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video